right, we're checking out the only game where you own a delivery service that delivers an end to all life on Earth. It's Crash Delivery. Anytime your delivery service is named Crash, I get somewhat concerned about what the entire purpose of the service is. Now, as you can imagine, your job is to try and bring your FedEx goods down the hill as far as you can to the city. And over time, you get to upgrade your vehicle. You get all new vehicles. I don't know why this helicopter's here. In general, I always upgrade my money first because it feels like if I have the money, I have everything I will ever need. Go! Uh, oh, that was a pretty good liftoff right there. Mm, tons of distance. Luckily, all the various foliage broke my fall. Now, if uh, if your product was made out of glass, it probably didn't survive. We get extra money just for the distance, eh? All right, we'll put a little bit into extra money and then we'll put the rest in speed and fuel just to see what happens. Also, the fact that this sheep is just chilling out watching me slowly murder myself is a bit concerning. Like, I never hit it. It's just kind of there, eyeing me, side eye glancing my way, thinking about how it's glad it did not go with FedEx. Oh, what do I get if I get this far? Do I get a new- uh, do I get a new vehicle? I love how I can make 1900 coins for a terrible job. Job well done, they say. Okay, that's like a triple flip right there. Full dive and the backflip sticks the landing. All right, if there's one thing I learned, hold on, you definitely want- there you go. You want to boost so you can try and like rocket your way off of the ramps that the natural countryside makes. Now at this point, we can just, you know, slowly slide to our death down this mountain here, getting a lot of extra distance. 120, 135 meters, three barrel rolls. That should get us stacked with cash. Now we're talking. Yeah, give me all that. Okay, so a nice, easy jump. Slow, slow, slow. Then we're gonna out. Okay, well, I guess you can't use it unless you're on the ground. I bought a new car. I don't even know why you would deliver anything in this, but I mean, I'll do it. Okay, boost. Oh, I think this this is worth it. Oh yeah. The barrel, the barrel rollification on the Lamborghini is definitely better than the original, like, death van. Wait for it, now. <laughs> All I did was manage to kill every single carbon dioxide filtration unit in, like, the, the 30 mile area surrounding my- Oh, I missed one! You get to survive, Mr. Tree, congratulations! Now it's just sheer distance, look at this. Look at- look at how ridiculous- I love how bouncy this car is! This thing made out of rubber. Is that to protect the driver? I don't need to be protected from the car. The car needs to be protected from me. Ooh, prize game, okay. Oh, I get a random new car. Hey, hey, hey. Driving this thing and delivering packages in it seems like a fantastic idea. Okay. Now, luckily, the uh, tires will absorb the fall. Unfortunately, I just made someone homeless. Ooh, power lines. Do I get, like, bonus points if I take out the power lines and destroy the grid for the, yeah, for the entire city? Okay, no joke. I am making insane money now. I'm just gonna, yeah, we're just, just keep, just keep this going. Just keep the extra money going for right now. Blast off, sticks the landing. Double front flip, sticks the landing again. Rearward twist, it's kind of like being a figure skater. Only, you know, you sometimes deliver packages. I say sometimes because most of the time, the packages turn into a fine paste. I'm getting bonuses for my launch speed now. Okay, it's a good barrel roll. And that's called a dive, I like that. Oh, you just keep compounding the barrel rolls too. I've almost managed to get to the next village, I guess I'll call it. I just... There was like a gigantic tree caught inside of my wheel wells. Oh God, <laughs> 400 for a destroyed house. Imagine you're a delivery person and the bonuses that you get at work are directly congruent to the amount of lives that you ruin. That's literally what this game is. I made 12,000 coins and all I did was end up in some lady's living room. Well, what used to be a living room is gone now. But I have it. Oh my god. I think I can maybe land right on the tractor. Yeah. 
<laughs> you also vault the tree, so the tree just keeps going. Oh, they built a wall to, to try and protect them from me. Yeah, let's, let's bring up the speed a lot. I know money is almost always the way to go, but we'll see if just having raw physical speed provides a lot more joy and distance. Ah, what are they planting over there? Is this supposed to be like tomatoes or something? Well, I am, okay, so that was a personal best. So we're past that neighborhood and we're almost to the secondary neighborhood where people enjoy biking and dying. Yeah, more rocket fuel. No joke, they gave me all these different special vehicles, but having a monster truck is just better than all of that. Oh, the forward momentum on this thing is insane. Here we go. Yes, hit the wall. Do it. The great wall of gray protection. Can't, you can't save you. Oh, 326. All right, new high score and like a new high total. Yeah, having fuel's amazing. Uh... Rocket launchers. Perfect. Right there. Kept almost all of the momentum going forward. We are 100% gonna get, come on, get to the, okay, we got a new personal best. What is that an outhouse? <laughs> just sitting in front of the wall? Who would use the bathroom there? I don't know why, it just feels like using the bathroom there would end up getting you murdered. That's what it feels like. Okay. Uh, well, you don't usually want to drive a vehicle sideways, although if it does get me extra money by destroying, like, the garages and barns and things in the way, then that's good. Did I just get another new high score by, like, one meter? Yeah, new high score, one meter. Okay, so the launch speed is going up each time, too. The launch speed now is at 74 chunko meters. I, I don't even know what our speed is calculated in. It's calculated in, like, desires to live. So we're touching the wall. We have injured the wall, but we have not breached the wall yet. But I feel like that's coming next. I want to breach the wall. Level 20 speed. We're leaving now at a launch speed of plus 71. Uh, the height feels legit. Again, we're kind of like, oh, we're just going to go around the wall. That works too. Never mind. We're back on track to hit the wall. Blast through the wall. <laughs> like, like we don't care. Finally, oh man, the second I can get toward town, it is gonna be the best day of my life. That's where the most amount of humans to run over is, I'm sure. Jump here, there's an area they have it prepared for me. Oh, we got a new car. Yeah, let's see what we got here. I don't know what this is, but I want it. Oh, sweet. I mean, it doesn't really look like something that should be good at aerodynamics, but I mean, that means absolutely nothing in this game. You pretty much just do whatever you want. Never mind the aerodynamics on this thing is incredible. <laughs> it's almost like the dump truck portion keeps opening and closing randomly to give me extra distance. Launch speed is at 79 now. And it's all about, oh, I lost a tire. That's, I mean, it's not like I need the tires anyway. What are they really doing? Most of my time is spent flying through the air. Very little time is actually spent driving. Okay, we're almost there. Just grind your way down the hill. Grind your way there. So close. I have a feeling that our next run, we're gonna be able to do it. I have so much money to spend. 81 launch speed. I can almost fly to that. Oh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I managed to hit that house too. <laughs> Nothing can save you house. I was gonna say. I can almost fly to that first gigantic neighborhood. 494 meters. This next jump should do it. All right. I mean, it's it's gonna be close. Launch speed is 80. And yeah, we are almost at the house. RKO the tree, RKO the second tree, through whatever that was, I don't know. It ended up removing a bunch of our forward speed though. That's what sucks. But I mean, the more stuff you hit, the more bonus you get. So I guess it's nice to smash all these things anyway. Plus every backflip that they make us do. Oh, I lost my dump. All the different backflips that it make us do give us, yeah, like additional massive bonuses too. Like this is probably, yeah, this is our biggest total yet. 30,000. Our launch speed is 89. And now we are over that neighborhood. Oh wow, I'm just flying over everything. Okay, we, we made it to the town. We made it to the town by like a lot. <laughs> oh God. 
I love that I took out one of their little landing pad chunks over here. Okay, so now we have to go to Volcano Land. Yeah, keep keep giving me more money. All right, so uh, why would anyone? What is this like? It's like uh, the Lord of the Rings over here. Saruman wants his uh, his packages delivered. Oh, and there's meteorites falling from the sky. I mean, I guess it's chunks of the uh, the volcano, but. I want to land it on my truck. Yeah, we're gonna be blowing through this. Launch speed 95. Big double backflip. I might even get three backflips. Now I'm gonna kill all the urns that everyone's ancestors are stored inside of. Okay, launch speed is past 100 now. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet distance. Oh my god. <laughs> Some, some like, uh, some, some, uh, <laughs> some civilization tried to put up a wall. <laughs> don't you remember what happened in the last town? I've got packages that have to be delivered, and I don't care how many people I have to murder to get them there. All right, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and give me my next prize car. Oh, that seems pretty simple. I will try it. I mean, is it, is it faster? Well, it's definitely not faster. As a matter of fact, it feels like it's heavier. The aerodynamics of this thing are not great at all and it loses its back tires uh, immediately. <laughs> okay, legit, there's a hyper car. I wanted to know how good it is compared to our massive truck. Uh, all right, the dive is decent. Oh, we're going to the lava. Now we're burning alive. All right, hyper car, I'm giving you one last try. What's with the stop, with the tiny little stop gates? It's like I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert or something and it's trying to keep me away. Okay, through all the urns, through the wall. Got over the lava that time, but still no further. I think we're going back to the truck. Come here, you beautiful beast. Launch speed 100 on the truck. Again, why? My God, why would you pick anything else? Oh, all right. Well, I guess when the dump truck part. Am I going? Am I destroying Florida? It feels like I'm heading toward Florida. I'm back home. I love endangering palm trees. And yep, definitely got some of the urns over there, whatever they are. Uh, a couple of death trees and over to the palm trees. Haven't made it down to the town yet. The launch speed is getting fairly insane. Remember how I said I hadn't made it down to the town yet? Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to the town. Actually, I dare say we are in the heart of the town. They've erected many, many <laughs> gates to try and stop me, though. Are you ready for aerodynamics? <laughs> Ow. <sighs> I think I just managed to hit every important thing in that little, that little area. It's all about distance. Distance and height. I think slides really good. I'll give it that. That's for sure. So I selected this plane because I thought to myself, if we're trying to fly pretty far, you should probably use something that, you know, is designed for distance. I feel like the plane lacks a certain amount of fairness because it is insane. I don't really care what you give me. I'm probably going to keep using the plane. <laughs> yeah, later. I swear to God, I think I, I think I stole this plane from World War One or something, but whatever. It, it does well when it's not burning. Well, the landing gear is out. As you can see, the landing gear did absolutely nothing. <laughs> what was that? What, what was that that just went flying on the hill? Was that a human body? Is that like a piece of something I destroyed? I feel like it had something to do with me. I've got so many upgrades into this thing. Our launch speed is 111 right now and I'm almost landing past the very first like lava volcano, whatever that is area. You know, if you guys were gonna build a fence, you could have at least built it across the entire chasm. Like it's not doing anything. I'm just going around it. Yeah, I'm almost landing inside of the lava at this point. I'm pretty sure I took someone's house with me. Like part of their fence is flying onto the shipping boat. God, that's a lot of money. I love how the rockets are somehow coming out of my propeller. Like, I don't even know how that's a thing. Well, this, is a good, this is a good straight shot. We might get to the point where we're almost landing on the uh, the ship at this point. I'm right in this dude's doorstep, right next to both of his skinned deer or bear or whatever that is. His skinned fleshy animals. I guess they used to be fleshy. Not so much anymore. So I just barely touched that one tree. Then the full backflip over the altar of sadness. 
through, again, all of the fences, which are doing absolutely nothing, taking out one, two, three palm trees. I think the best part of this is that we're prepared to destroy, I don't even know, like $10 million worth of personal property just so someone can get a $10 charging cord. Oh, the speed is real. Oh, the speed is real. We're getting so close to a new personal best. We're getting, we're racking up a lot of bonus money though. Yeah. Dodging gigantic pieces of blasticating lava. And then I'm gonna park between both of these trees. Look at that, field goal. I saved up 90,000 coins to spend so I can get almost level 50 in all of the bonuses and stuff. Oh my god, oh no, I hit a tree. Oh, hey, all right, well maybe doing a bunch of front flips is exactly how planes were meant to fly. Who would have known? Backflip, barrel roll, you know, and then we'll just go ahead and park this right around here. So I went ahead and just did something. Um, I had to know. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what happens if I just overshoot my landing area? No one get. Oh, oh, it stops me. Oh, I did one backflip and I landed it on the deck. And it doesn't look like my vehicle is that injured. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, extra money, a lot. Welcome to Snowy Mountain. In case you're wondering, I have a feeling that after our upgrades, Snowy Mountain. Oh, there's a castle here. There's a full castle. How long is this board? <laughs> oh my god. Yay. Oh, we're just leaving the map. We're at the end of the map. We have we have literally reached the end of the map. Look at this. One shot. Prize game. Yeah, I'll take a prize. Sure. What do you got for me? Oh! I actually get two options at this because... Uh, no, I, I like this more. So now we're in Area 51 with the John deere meter over here. Whatever you want to call this. This thing that's supposed to be delivering objects. There's a helicopter there. That's kind of random. Oh, there's, a, there's actual, like, aliens that you can land into. Flew over Area 51 in, you know, two seconds. That's great. Oh, yeah. You like cyberpunk? Because we're in Night City. Although, oddly, they couldn't be bothered to build the ramp properly. That's going to be shooting me across the board. What am I about to land on? Oh, it's the top. Oh, ow. <laughs> I was going to say, was I landing inside of someone's cafeteria? I think I'm going to go back to this one for right now. Actually, we're going to do this one. All right, Night City. I'm going to use all of my boost here to get, like, the most distance I can. And we're going to ricochet off the... Oh, never mind. All right, I guess that's the most distance we can have. So this one might be legitimately harder than the rest. Now, to be fair, we, you know, got a lot of money. All right, how about if I bounce off the roof? So bounce off the roof. That worked out well. Uh-huh. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, straight through the window. Perfect. Yes, murder all the people working at their cubicles. We're getting like 80,000 coins per run now. I want to see if the plane flies like better or more straight. And it definitely flies better. It also gets me like 120,000 coins per go. Look at the distance this thing can achieve. It's just a matter of whether or not I can make it through the, the posts that are set up around this, this building. All right, we're definitely, we got to beat this board. Yeah, all this. All right, I'm up to like level 170 or so for the upgrades. Like how, oh wow, okay. Maybe that was the right amount of upgrades. I'm on the bridge. <laughs> I love that I can hit all these cars. Oh, that guy didn't even care. <laughs> like, do you want me to call my insurance company or he's like, no, it's fine. Got a new car. Probably not gonna want it though. Oh, it's a fire truck. You know what? Maybe I do want it. What can go wrong? It's definitely slower, like way slower than the plane though. I am almost at level 200 for the upgrades. Assuming I don't end up blasting through the skybox, I should be able to bounce, then through, then over the tree. Yeah! Through the traffic, and we finally delivered our final pack. <laughs> and we killed everyone in the way. Well, owning a delivery company is the most violent thing I think I've ever done in my life. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Crash Delivery. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.